YouTube. Hey YouTube. Me and Scott, uh, we went into Jimmy Egypt's. Actually, that wasn't a bad. It's kind of the video's kind of buffering a little bit just now. So, but actually, you can see the sign in the top right, which yeah, is pretty Jimmy good. Jimmy Egypt's guitar and repair, and it's on Great Western Road in Glasgow. Kind of halfway, would you say? Kind of halfway along the Great Western Road. Yeah, uh, as in between yeah, between Kelvin is. Bridge and the Oran Moor. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much halfway. Yeah. Uh, Even be... actually on the whole road itself, if you consider where it starts and ends, it's kind of halfway along. But yeah, yeah, it's a great place to go. It's worth, worth, worth having a look for, really. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, we just parked. You get, you get parked outside, no problem. Pretty much just over the road. Yeah. Yeah, but when was you it? You've got to pay for parking, but it's not expensive. It's not in the city centre. Yeah. So this is us looking. I might make us a little bit smaller so we can see more of the screen now. Yeah. Am I going to be able to do that live? Let's just see. I think I can. Give me, give me, come on, give me the, give me the option, give me the option. Oh, and there you go. See, yeah. yeah, I've got this technology thing going, <laughs> going. I could probably turn on that camera on the roof as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at the selection of guitars. Jimmy of Egypt, just to give you a backstory, he's like an old Glasgow salt wart. He's, he's literally <laughs> been selling guitars. He used to work out of sound control. No, CNC music. CNC music round in Otago Street, and he was even with them before that when they were in. And on this main road again yeah and he's a luthier and a guitar repair guy but he does Jack Bruce's bass whenever he comes to Glasgow he's that we're used to yeah yeah used to <laughs> of course yeah. yeah but yeah he does a lot of famous people he's well he's well known for being a neck guy a neck guy yeah specifically a neck guy yeah. obviously everyone is picturing or I'm picturing obviously a guy with he likes neck. to bite people. No, no, I was thinking just long neck, giraffe man. No, but he's, a, he's into his guitar necks. If you've got a refret done or any kind of neck work needing done in your guitar, he is the man. He's amazing. Yeah. He's not the cheapest. He's not the most expensive either. Though. Right. But the thing about it is, is he's really good. Yeah. I've, 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 always, I've not bad mouthed him. Yeah. I've, 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 I've only met him a couple of times. And I think I was maybe... You know, one time I was like 17 or something like yeah. that, I was asking a stupid question or something and he was maybe in a bad mood. And well, since, since then I've thought 20 years he's grumpy. He's one I've never been to the uh, shop before. I think he's one of these incredibly focused people. Let's see if you've got him working. Yes. And he's busy doing something yes. and you try and talk to him. He's yes. Just, he's like, pfft, go and talk to me. Yeah. Aye. Just, kind of guy. But it, yeah, the work that he does on the guitars is amazing. I've actually got my Fender Strat. I would usually do them myself, do you know what I mean? But yeah. I've got him going to do a levelling crown for me. But it's an expensive one. Ah, it's going to be, yeah, it'll probably be like a couple of hundred quid, mm. which is half the price of MX Constrat, a lot of people say. But the difference, you've felt the difference. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's a, it's, 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 it's a, a remarkable a, difference. It's a nice strat. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 that, yeah. it's that whole thing when you're, you're getting diminishing returns when you get you're yeah. only get you're only going to get it that much better it's going to, but it's going but you're already at the best it can yeah. you know if you've got the most amazing stereo someone's like up here oh what about these cables to connect yeah. the speakers and you get you know you spend a couple hundred quid in cable but yeah. all that thing just gets a wee bit better his attention to details ridiculous really though the level of detail and work that he does is brilliant it really is he used to make his own guitars i actually used to own them stupidly sold <laughs> Oh. Like I've done lots of guitars, but yeah, he made it was like a Les Paul type thing, but instead of a horn, it had a point coming out. Like, All right, that, that kind of sounds like my Schockenberg puppet. It's a Telecaster without the. Well, it reminded me of a BC Rich at the time. Yeah, is it an eagle? No, I can't remember what it was called. It was one of the guys. Like mad laminated uh, neck. He made his own necks oh, and right, stuff right. like that. And it was like a through neck. Uh, it was a lovely. Do you know the, the guy Big John from the Exploited still owns one? Right. He used to use his life as well. I'm, I'm maybe making a guitar for him actually for some presentation. Yeah. Right, let's. This, this is as I said. See, I noticed actually it's running at half speed. That's why we're not halfway through the video now. Right, okay. Well, this is the new Stratocaster range that we're talking about. Yes. They're lovely. They're really nice. They are. And uh, so the, the audio is not brilliant on yeah. the original. I'll put it on as a bonus extra yeah. at the end. You, you, could, yeah. you could actually hear it a bit much faster yeah, than this. Lots of buses and stuff that went going past. Yeah, I kept looking at that, uh, that, that colour though. As soon as I saw it, it was like, yeah, yeah. It was nice. The specification in these guitars is really good as well, and Fender seem to have got it together as far as their quality controls concerned. Yeah, the guitars are good right off the shelf. I haven't had time to have tried. Try. How much was it? Was it seven? It's well, not, not. It's not a cheapy. No, it's not an American one either. That's no. one of the Strat, the new player Strats. The new. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the range. I was looking at it for quite a while. I mean, yeah, and then we're going to the Rickenbacker. Oh. <laughs> 
and I think in, 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 at this exact moment, oh. there's, there's, is that thing who's the guy in the shop wondering what we're doing? Like, they're slagging off that they can back it up. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Bastards. But it's, it's obviously it's like, it, you can see the speed he's doing it at. Well, yeah. look at the price of it. It's three thousand nine hundred and forty-nine pounds. Yeah. And it's no. What I was pointing out there was the fretboard. We were talking about the frets on Rickenbackers. They're really narrow. Yeah. Frets. And they're really soft as well, so if you're using like round round strings of a decent gauge, what it's going to do is wear notches all over your frets, and quite quite quickly in a couple of years. But the thing is, is Rickenbackers have got lacquered fretboards, right. so what they do is they do the frets and they do everything, and then the last thing they do is level and crown the fret. So basically, they buff off the, the, lacquer. Top, the lacquer off the top of the fret, right. and it leaves it weld up against the sides. Right. I think in the video, that's where the, the, the Tony Iommi SG has, has that, but he did, did intentionally had to file, the frets filed flat because of his lack of fingers. Mean, yeah, but with these guys, yeah. so it means that when it comes to getting any fret work done on the guitar, you're having to break lacquer. Ah, to, or, to or basically you're talking about sanding the whole fretboard and re-lacquering it. <sighs> really, if you were going to do it, if you were going to do it properly, you would have to do the same thing. They've actually got a disclaimer when you look at the the information that comes with the the, ba the the guitars and basses that they would recommend only recommend their own strings mm. where do you get them right. have you ever seen Rickenbacker strings of course but, or just to get out of the uh, fact that the, uh, the, the grooves get worn I've dealt with many they're ridiculously mad guitars it's, like a, it's like a front door with a guitar neck on it they're yeah is that is that like, like a, a special oh it's a 12 stringer but I mean even the 12, yeah. even the 6 stringer because my pal Simon I was in a band in Paisley and yeah. he, his dad got him one for his 20, or 21st or something like that his birthday like I'm no, he won money he's like I'm going to buy you a guitar and you have one of them but it's only the 6 string one and I got a shot of it in the studio Fireball. and it's really weird it's like a it's like a door it's like, yeah. like a door with a guitar neck it's like yeah, see I've just thought of something see if, if you take like the, the thickness of an acoustic yeah. and you imagine where the strings are on an acoustic and, and then leave the strings there yeah. and then make the body this thin behind it it's yeah so you end weird. up you can put your hand down the back between the, the two pickups so uh -huh. you can fit your hand in below the strings so and the neck's kind of sitting up here it's, somewhere it's, it's, I mean it's obviously part of the sound <laughs> they're really hard to make I mean you can tell there's been a lot of effort in what doing that yeah but no no just don't copies are better I was Ibanez actually, done a copy of Rickenbacker and it doesn't have any of the problems associated with Rickenbacker. I had one and I hated it. it was shit. Did you? I, I, I did this before I could play guitar. So Rickenbackers have also got a dual truss rod system and it's not like anything that works on a normal guitar. Yes, I've heard and about this. What to do that you've got to get the guitar basically in a brace, right? And right. you get the neck position to where you want it to be. Right. And then you tighten it up and that's it. And then it sets it, right, it so it doesn't move it. It, it, it doesn't just, move it, it back it just and forth. So right. people buy these things and they're like that. You can't turn, are you just snapping well, they're, the... They're trying to and they're just stripping out the screw and right. it completely... Yeah. Right. Stick in the backers, we call them in the business. Right. So it's mad because if you're doing anything on the road, I remember being on tour with this band called The Horrors. No something that I recall. Anyway, this guy had a ricking back and I basically had to sit with it on my knee and hold the neck back like that. Right. And get it right and hold it with the string tension on and get the guy with a spanner to tighten them up and that's how we did maintain his bass. It was right. st stupid. It's a big lot. The, the bass is a big lot. It's a really long neck as uh, well. Isn't it? It's like terrible. See, the thing is, a lot of people look at Lenny and they think, well, oh, he played a ricking but yeah. see if you actually saw what that was that he was playing, that wasn't a... Yeah. a normal anything no no no, <laughs> no. it was Rick and Backer shaped yeah because I like the look it was well yeah I mean it, to be honest with you that base is probably one of the loveliest designs looking wise looking yes. wise yes. of a bass that I, I've I, I ever think seen so. yes I think so and the worst playing bass that I've ever played it just f sits on your body awkwardly it's not a comfortable bass I found it's like the guitars I get it I found one and it basically said like some, see if someone's doing that just there. digging right, right into your bit yeah. in your breastbone it's just like it just no matter what you see they seem to always be rubbing it yeah. maybe maybe it's just a case of the sharp it was, a, it was an Ibanez so, so it's a shake not the not it's a Rickenbacker one it's probably quite, quite close but Rickenbackers yeah. are the same they're not a comfortable guitar to play I don't understand them it's a Rickenbacker fan I don't know. I should I, I call this video We Hate Rickers. No, Scott hates Rickers. Scott hates Rickers. I, I, I don't know. No, but I mean, I, if, if, but if that, that's part of the charm of it, though, isn't it? 
I suppose. Probably I depends suppose. on you when you're not buying a wrecking back or two. Oh, I suppose it's going to be a Z wrecking back also. It's like, you're, just, you're just angry. Yeah. <laughs> no, do you know what we're talking about? We actually mentioned them again. We mentioned them again. Ma- Martin McCann has got a wrecking back a copy base, a left hander, obviously, but it's lovely. It's probably better than a wrecking backer. Who's uh, Martin McCann? Martin, the lefty from East Kilbride. He plays with Joe Bone in the Dark Vibes. Is that the name of the band? I have no idea. As well as other bands, he's a, he's a lefty, but he's got an amazing guitar collection. That whenever you go to visit it, he's just like, you can't play anything. It's all lefties. All right. But he's got this. Base. It must be difficult to get lefties though, as well. Mm, I think so. Well, that's why the Ibanez ones were easier to get than a Rickenbacker. But anyway, he's done this bass up and it plays brilliant. But he got the Rickenbacker thing. Yeah. It had the Ibanez first, not but he got one made that says Rickin backwards on it, which is quite clever when you consider it's a lefty. Ah, makes sense. Rickin backwards. But yes. it's, it's cr- yeah, very clever. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think that, that was... Well done, Mark. We sort of mentioned a bit of that. There's was, was <laughs> definitely a rocking better. You can definitely get rocking better quite commonly, and I'm pretty sure it's fucking better as well. There's, there, there's the man, there's the man. Jimmy Egypt there, but he was actually in the midst of refretting a mid 70s strat. Right, was that what he was doing? That's what he was doing. So, right. in the actual video with this, so I've got all the whole way through, it sounds like there's somebody following us with a clapperboard. Right. right. But it's Jimmy with his tippy tappy hammer. Ah, that's true. <clears throat> and this is the Fender selection. Yeah. Yeah, I like, we were speaking about this earlier, the, the layout of this shop's really good. I think so. Because this, this is the first time I've ever been in it. Yeah, well, I was aware it was there. Yeah, they've mixed the guitars up really well. It's not, do you know what I mean, all really expensive guitars, yeah. then all really cheap guitars. They've put them all together and they've displayed yeah. them quite well. And it's kind of like, it's not just, here's all the Telecasters, yeah. although you can see two there. It's like, telly, telly, yeah. you know, maybe the other ones are maybe over here. So it's just a mass of guitars rather yeah. than being... Nicely grouped, but all yeah. well displayed and all well set up as well, which is a nice change for a guitar oh, show. Right, uh, mm-hmm. and that's the one I mentioned. Looks like the oh, yeah, it's ma- the Tele. I really liked. Yeah. I brought back from China. That eventually I sold. These because, Tellys are just. Uh, well, my, Fender, mine was a mine was a copy of it. it just looked yeah. like that. that was a good They're kind of on the game just now, Fender. The only problem I think is is the volume of <laughs> ranges they've got just now. Yeah. How many different versions of a Telecaster and a Stratocaster you can buy? But the finishes, I mean, look at this one here. This one's £269. Yeah. Well, I think that the answer is how much money have you got? And we've got one at that price. Yeah, if you've got £600, got we've got one. If you've got P90s in it, it's a lovely finish. No, that'll be the Jazzmaster pickups. Yeah. I was actually wondering about them for that Raven. Are they not P90s in that one? Big square ones? I think. I, 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 I think the no one they're getting there. Yeah, next door, this was uh, an American style, wasn't it? Was that an American strap? I can't remember. Is it, is it not? Is it not a relic one? So it, it was. Be, it's really nice. It's got a really lovely bronze. It, would, it wouldn't be relic and an American one. Probably. We'll try to get that in the camera, but you can't really see it. But it's got Fender all that, Vintage Series. It's got all that lacquer cracking going on. Right. The stuff that they put it in the freezer, brought it out, and it's went. Ba-ding. I never, I never it was that close. I like. I, I, I think. Don't think what we were talking about that. I quite like that mustard. Nice yeah. and shiny. Don't see. Any oh, do you know if I noticed there was. Were those guys outside the whole time you were in there waiting to come in? No, <laughs> um, this is running at fair quarter speed or something. That's why it's dead slow. That's oh, right. So it's, you'll probably see, you know, if you saw Jimmy Egypt hammer tapping in, he doesn't tap the hammer in like this. Uh, <laughs> it's like, nice. Yeah, I think it gives us more time to look at the things that we couldn't actually do when we were talking in the shop. Oh, I mean, I did, quite, uh, I did see it's okay to film yeah. when we walked around. Is that? Well, it's him and his son that run the shop just now. Nah. They, they both seem nice. Actually, um, I was saying I've, I've been bad mouthing them. Um, the guy in Blitzkrieg, Tony, was mm-hmm. saying to me that he could send someone from Jimmy Jip could send in for a bucket caster oh, right. because it's someone had obviously been in trying to buy a cheap bass and all that. Have you seen the ones that wrote the bucket? And he's going that they bought them in the the Blitzkrieg shop. So there you go. So maybe he knew who it was. Cause I did have Mad Marco written on my face. I've always found them maybe all right. As dedicated worker, I found it to be. No, not doesn't. I'm judging. That was twenty years ago. It could have, it could have just happened. Well, again, it's just plus, I might have been asking stupid questions. Didn't really know anything. It's one of these things, you know. What I mean, it's just an on the day thing, isn't it? You're only yeah. as good as your last do do, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it could also get. But what happens if you're sitting yeah. there in the middle of an? You're trying to. Let's say, let's say, worst case now, you're trying to get the volume control back into a three three five. So you've got like bits of string and all that. As in, that's probably pretty fidgy and some kid comes up and asks you whether he should be buying what are the advantages of 9s over 10s or something stupid. Here's these Squire Vintage yes. mod ones. They're really good. 360. It's, yes. it's actually a good price though. I mean, I, if you compare it to a Mexican Fender, they're 
Yeah, I did. A, I did a Jaguar. That's actually for sale, and mm-hmm. it's not not me that's selling it. And I don't know if it's been sold. Um, Alex is selling a vintage modified. Right, they're great. Vintage modified, and the, the classic vibe things being different things, and I think one maybe replacing the other, mm-hmm. but very much the similar. Yeah, it's like the Badger Telecasters. They're always amazing as well. There's those Gretches. <laughs> oh, the ones you love. <laughs> It's amazing you can pick, you're picking the, that Rickenbacker's not offending it's left handed so you can't play it I suppose I've not quite got to that yet I've <laughs> not settled on it yet it's, yeah. it's not, I've not felt the hatred there there's the mini tiny wee bases yes I need to get a shot of my pal Buster's one of them <coughs> I don't know I think he actually I think he got rid of it and bought a Jackson minion base which is I've played this that small and the, the, the strings are a wee tiny bit floppy but nothing there's, there's more Gretchness the thing yeah. about Gretchies is, is they're really well priced I mean they really are yes it's, that one I had I, 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 We've probably have plenty of time with points like up. Seems like a lot of guitar for the money. The only problem again with them is is really weak power, weak pickups. Yeah, I'm, I told, I think I see it in the video yeah. at the time. But I'm uh, someone contacted me. They're getting P nine. What we think P nineties yeah. to Fit, that that one. Yeah. Um, I mean, and is that pure? You can have the old pickups if you want as well, free. I don't know. Is that pure? Is that pure? Yeah. How much? And just. <laughs> The so tune, the, if that, it's you, hello, and give yeah, us a shout. If you're going to buy one of those guitars that you've got to really rely on, you're going to have to buy new pickups and you're going to have to buy new tuners as well. The tuners on Gretsch guitars are terrible. Really? I don't know. On that range. I didn't, I didn't really yeah. know. I didn't, I didn't have if it If you look like through few all of the guitars that Gretsch sell, they've all got basically the same tuners in that range and they're all right. really terrible. I mean, they do the job of a tuner, but if you're fine tuning, do you know what I mean? And if you're trying to get use a guitar tuner, yeah. you're never going to hit the dot. Yeah. You're just going to be either side of it frustratingly yeah. the whole time. I think the, the the pickups thing is though there must be a bit of personal <coughs> well, no, preference if you want the sound that they have. It's just that you, it's not like an all round sound that well, you can do anything with. Not really. No. no. Well, the, the problem with it is that if anything happens to that guitar and you switch to a guitar, another guitar that's not a Gretsch, it's going to blow up right, your rig. Right, right, right. Or vice versa. If you've got a Gretsch in the background and you swap to your Gretsch for a song, your volumes are going to be th- less than half. Right. I mean, the volume dive is amazing. That's the problem I had with them. Yeah. And I thought, I'll solve that. I'll send off for a set of expensive pickups from Gretsch. And I got them through and they were just about the same. So they're, they're probably quite, they're, they're quite a good copy of the filter trons or filter some, trons some but I mean there are versions of that you get extra hot and stuff like that but to be honest with you it's then it's, it, it doesn't sound like a wrecking a lot of, well a lot of people think that a pickup's got to be mega powerful in order for it to be really good but mm. it's not entirely the case sometimes the underwound pickups when you get them set up properly sound amazing yeah but the only problem is is you're stuck with fat guitar because of the yeah well that's a good yeah. compared to the two but I did but I know we were talking earlier about the blazers. I had the blazer and the yeah. Mexican, uh, Japanese strat, and I put a really expensive pickups mm-hmm. in the Japanese one, the most expensive one I had, but they were all really low output ones. Yeah. It does pure spanking cleans, but it is half the volume of the blazer. Yeah, when you try it's half, just, it's, it's totally, pedals, literally half the, well, yeah. It's like maybe having another amp for it, have a, have a separate amp but again, stage. If, if the Gretsch is your only guitar and that's the one you're playing, it doesn't come up, do you know what I mean? Because you just uh, turn the volume up to it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? oh, you have two. Half, half a Gretsch is your backup as well yeah. and they're going to the Warwick bases they're amazing bases they really are you get lots of bass for your money you really yeah. do I just don't I don't, the, the shape I don't yeah. know I'm not as offended by the shape now as I was it's at the time when I, when I started looking for getting my first bass basically and that. that's the one that I had and there's that, that spear one we're talking about with the, the like massive so as long as you don't like running your thumb over the top of the fingerboard <laughs> But the Warwick bases are great for for the money. They're amazing. It's probably yeah. in the same range as uh, an American kind of P bass, jazz bass, right? Kind of money, but they're much better bases. Mm. Dare I say it? I just don't. It's the look, so not. I know. That I must admit, I do like a jazz bass. They do look. I'm not saying P bass. I'm, I'm, well. like I'm a P bass. I'm a P bass. I don't. I don't. I just don't own a yeah. jazz. But I don't think I've ever. The thing about the, the, these bases, when you put them on, they're perfectly balanced. It's yeah. Like, really, it's just hangs perfectly on your body and you, you can move it and yeah. it stays there it doesn't yeah As you, you really do notice that I've, I've got a few guitars that are like that where it's like I don't have bad balance yeah. on really any guitar I don't, I don't really notice balance problems and you get one that's pure perfectly balanced it's like hold well, on it's, it's that, the West Tone Majors like that it's that top horn that puts people off people think that's really hard, really long and really weird looking mm-hmm. but it's like that for a reason because yeah. the, the guitar strap fastens to that too yeah actually on, see on the, the, the Bucky Van Halen guitar I, I, it's for sale on Blitzkrieg just now I put like a hook in it 
Right. You know, instead of a strap button. No, because I couldn't find a strap button. Because yeah, I couldn't find a strap button. But it also it looked a bit like Van Halen-y. Well, that's what he had. Yeah, it? so yeah. if you had it, see, on that guitar, if you had it on, like, the, the strap, the, if you imagine it would be like right. a question mark, it would sit on the bit and then it fell down in, into the loop. Right. See the difference in balance that made, and the hook was only that length. Right. It was amazing, and you're, you're talking about moving about the strap bit, yeah. ten mil out the way. What mm -hmm. a difference it made to the guitar! There's that beautiful bass. What color was that? It was a well, what color? It was a Charvel, but it was a greeny goldy, beautiful yeah, color, yellowy, lovely. yellowy. It was a very deep spot. I think I think this, to be honest, I think I said the, the, the white pickups as well somehow just. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to having yeah, to know, the white super distortion things, things. I actually quite like about his shop as well. He's got a really nice selection of basses too. Yeah. Like if you go to Guitar Guitar, basses always feel like a bit of an afterthought in the back corner. They're not really integrated into yeah. the main displays in the same way that these are. So I, I, I suppose I because you've got well. It really is. You yeah. should look at Guitar Guitar. Uh, the next time you get in there, the, the basses are in the back corner. Yeah, they are. Yeah, totally. Whereas he's got them all up front and centre. That was one of these ones with the mad fin it with a mad top on it that yeah. we're talking about that was a yeah. burled something I can't, I'm pretty sure I was saying that's how much nicer I think that one you're pointing to is than that one next to it which yeah. is just but it's just like personally I don't like that white one either the ang pick ups at the wrong angle I don't know yeah. looking at it that's the nice thing about guitars it's subjective and there's something for everyone yeah. I, I'm not keen on these long horn yeah. look at the bow and the neck on that bass mm. fish eye lanes mm. aye aye <laughs> What a selection of good bases, though. I think the nice thing about his shop, too, is that he actually does set stuff up. So if you take it off, the, we never touched anything, just out of respect yeah. for COVID at the moment. Yeah. But under normal circumstances, you can just go up and play the guitars, but they're all perfectly set up. Do you know what I mean? The intonation's done, the action's right. Mm. and Yeah. Thumbs up to Jim Egypt. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not I'm sorry, I'm sitting there looking at... See that wall? Oh. No, so see, see the wall. Do you reckon yeah. that, that it used to be like a, whatever the shop was before? There was that wall was well, already it, there, it, it and he's like gone. No, hold on. Yeah. It looks a little bit Pink Floydy. Let's leave it. <laughs> I think it's probably been a butcher or something. Uh, or just a like, like, something he's not done it himself. Yeah. It's just he's gone. No, leave that. It's kind of like Pink Floyd or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> that does look good though. Get some. Gives us something to stick stickers on. Yeah. That another Fender bass. There's another one of those violin bases. They're getting quite popular. I can see them. In most guitar shops nowadays, that would suggest yeah. people must be buying them. I think I don't think they're, I think they're not that expensive. Well, they never used to be, but like the, the the Epiphone one, or even just copies of them. I, mean, I don't know. It depends what people are listening to. Maybe the Beatles are really popular just now. And people want the Paul McCartney bass. Remember seeing one of them in the Scottish supermarket? It was it like two hundred quid, like for a, a real one really? for the sixties? I don't like. No, I don't like that. I said now I don't know what one would be worth, but I don't think I don't think that was a pure super cheap thing. Yeah. This is I'm going back. Do you know I years. was playing a gig in a rock metal band as a bass player, and my bass didn't turn up for the gig, and somebody handed me one of those Hofner basses, and oh. it was. Got oh. <laughs> the violin one, yeah. Ah, it was like Toy Town. Honest to God, see if you played it at an opening and moved. Yeah. Hell, 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 all over the place, yeah. Terrible bass. Uh, <laughs> Slow. I remember getting a. Uh, I was talking earlier on about the, the guy with the Rickenbacker. It does look like a. Do you know what I mean? If a guitar had an arse. Yeah. It's kind of like it's getting your Mooney in it. Like it's pulled its trousers down. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're all modelling in them as well, though. It's like the electric uh, guitar. It's like a. <laughs> see, I don't know. I don't Kiesel done a better looking guitar. The, the American guys who used to be another brand before with Carvin. Oh, right. And then they went bust and was broken oh, oh. by the sun. Ah, right. Jeff Keel. And he makes these acoustic caster type guitars that are a much nicer looking design. It doesn't yeah. look like it's got an anus, yeah. essentially. Yeah. But they do, so I've heard a lot of these being demoed. I mean, they, they went overboard and they sent them out to everybody. Yeah, I think, everybody. I think it's like for professional. Yeah, well, they sent, they sent one out to that Ola England guy, the jazz master. To right. <laughs> he's like, does it chug? No. no. <laughs> I don't think it did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's got yeah, good selection of strings and stuff there too. Uh, vet, well, maybe it's because it's a small shop. Yeah. I prefer it. To see, I, I would go in there first before I'd go into his guitar guitar. If I was going into a guitar shop for anything, 
Yeah, there and probably the we strung out guitars, they're quite good as well. So it's trying to be way smaller than this though? Not as good a selection of guitars. Well, no, it's not a tenth as many. Yeah. Even if you took away the acoustic bit. Yeah. But kind of not entirely, un- completely dissimilar. No, but it's the same sort vibe. Of, sort of vibe, aye. Yeah. But the, the selection of guitars you get in here are great. And this is us going on to the Duesenbergs. Yeah. And he's got a full selection of them, really. I've never seen so many Duesenbergs in one place. I don't know if I've ever actually even seen one. No. The only other place that you get them in Glasgow is in Merchant City Music. Right. Yeah, it's the only other place I've seen them. The Bridges, they're really co- popular just now. People who have got... Are they le- less, uh, less trim? As a Duesenberg design. And you yeah. see them on some of their guitars. If you look up, uh, at, if you type in Epiphone Core into right. the search, I don't, uh, I've had one, I've had, uh, did I fit it? But then the, the six hundred and fifty pound Epiphone with the core ah, top right, had yeah. the less trim or something very similar to. Yeah. Well, well they they don't have it. Obviously, they the don't one, all have it. Some of them do. Some of them. Uh, the one, they're they're just the, the ones we're looking at. We we're looking at on a relatively small screen. Are not. Um, yeah, the ones underneath. I think there's definitely yeah. a, there's definitely, it's definitely one of theirs. Or the, they license from them. You can totally see. Yeah, yeah no, 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 that no, one. No, no. There's, there's definitely one there somewhere. They did. I did see one. <laughs> yeah, totally. at the time. I don't know. But see, I do like the we're trying to again repeat. I do like the all the wee fancy bits. See, I, I meant to mention this at the time. See the driftwood looking Les Paul. I bet those are good, those were good guitars. It's just that those Hillington ones have ruined it because that auction the ones some of them look like that. Yeah. And you go okay, and you look at it. And it wasn't just, you know it looked like that, but the necks were all warped and Who bent. Who was it? Was Spear guitars. Spear, yeah. Amazing had, looking he, guitars. He but they, had a few of them in there. Aye, but they, they need a good setup. But I, I, but. Obviously, he's set them up. I mean, the actual parts are all good. Anyway, they're all Seymour Duncan's and uh, Grover, uh, Grover's and all that EMGs and uh, really high quality looking woods, just not set up at all. Look at that mother toilet seat thing that's just out of camera. <laughs> that's what red sparkly thing is just lovely. It is, yes. Lovely. Well, and that was a Tokai, wasn't it? That was a Love Rock, that Les Paul. No, the Les Paul and the SG above it were yeah. both Tokais. But expensive Tokais. Like a thousand pound. Yeah. yeah. I've got two, one of the best Tokais I've, Les Pauls I've got is a Tokai, the one that you've not even seen yet. I've not even, I didn't know you had a little Tokai Les Paul. Well, it's, it's been stripped down and cannibalised and rebuilt and I don't even think it says Tokai on it anymore. <gasps> oh dear. One of those jobs, yeah. Right. This Tokai I've got is the only one, it's the plastic strap. Ah. I reckon that's a sleeper and it's worth money. I, I think it's got to be at some point. Yeah. It's got to be, I don't know. It's, it seems such a shame they didn't, at the time, I think they were making guitars at carbon fibre fingerboards. Yeah. And then that, that's the one where it's the, the only piece of wood is the fingerboard. It's like, otherwise it could have been super. What's sp- the general consensus for your people on these tremors? You like them, right? Like a big, the, 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 the Les big Paul. Big tremors, you like a big speed, don't you? On one of those guitars, yeah. on that guitar, probably. Yeah. No, I mean even just to use. Do you know what I mean? As like no, it depends what guitars on that. No, not on a Tele, not an yeah. SG, not on a a normal guitar as Paul. But on like a, I'm really thinking this because my pal Jerry's got like a Gretsch copy, yeah. like a a big white Falcony type thing. Mm. On that, it made it sense. Okay? It made sense. I've never had any luck at all with a with them I don't like what they do sonically to a guitar but, but it worked on that Gretsch that's why I'm thinking if you're playing that There's something thing you kind of you want yeah. to kind of go bang wow well, see when you're playing the Les Paul Les Pauls have got that kind of darkness to them as well as the, the brightness but the humbucker sound as soon as you put one of those tremolo systems on it one of those, those guitars it like ramps up the mids and stuff like that it really makes a sonic difference to the guitar it all of a sudden sounds janically, jangly and nasally Right. To my ear. Would I some of that be to maybe to do with the way the st- well, you get the, st- well, the tube, the vibrating, but you know the, that that kind of thing going on down here. Purely the mass. Purely the mass, and all of that extra string travel and vibrations. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's maybe quite a lot with the between you know between the bridge and the roller, then between yeah. the roller and the thing. They're all going to be sympathetically vibrating yeah. all over the and place. You've got obviously, the mass of the bridge as well. Yeah. So I don't. No. No. Just no, no to a Bixby. Well, they don't stay in tune either. The stuff you can make them stay in tune, but you've got to go to war with the guitar to make it stay in tune. And 
No, all it does is a, a warble at the end of the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I, I, I think it kind of works on that. Yeah. And people forget, see a lot of Floyd Rose, that's what they're designed to do. People keep going like that and trying to do dive bombs, but see if you just... It, it's do that Bend and, do, and do, do what you could do with it. And uh, just a light warble, that's what you do with them. People keep going like that and pulling them, nobody pulls them back, unless you're Stevie Vai. Yeah. But that's just to give you the both ways motion, so you can get that nice sound that you get from a Bixby. By going like that with it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> really though, you know what I mean? Travel. Yes, yes, it's crazy. It's like you, you want, you want to, you want to dip it a whole, a whole note. <laughs> You're floored. No. I can't quite get down to a whole note. Can you do anything else? Uh, I don't know. I'm split. I'm, I'm not a big fan. There's the man out to see his days. Oh, is that He's him? Dan. What are you doing? Who are you? Is that him? I thought he was just a. I thought he was a customer. No, oh, hold on, that is a customer. That's not him. Right. Right. It's the haircut. He's old. He's grey. Ah, he's not as grey as that. <laughs> Curly weed. Black tooth fox, like you get white ones. That white one looks like the Fender one that I bought that was atrocious. Dangerous. I like a curly weed. I, I like a, a curly weed. I, I said a uh, uh, grin icebox looking through the records. There's a Shadows album called Rocking with Curly Leads. The, the problem is, is to do look great until you're on a dark stage and you stand on one and it's like standing on a brush, a brush pole, do you know what I mean? You just yeah. slide right across it and you're off the way. Arse over tip and all of that stuff. Yeah. It happens often. Yeah. I'll use mine. <laughs> we won't laugh. If you you, you got him with Black Tooth Fox. He likes his. No, he, he hates his curly leads as well. See, I like Mind you, I think he did, he did a bit of wood and stuff as well. So see, in the done. studio, they're brilliant because you're not dragging them across the floor and yeah. you don't have any dangerous falling on them. Yeah. But in a, on a, a, a gig night, I prefer a, a flat lead because you can stand on them and not be in danger of yeah. embarrassing yourself. Mm hmm. He's got a good selection of pickups. Did they mention that? He does have a I don't good think, I, don't think, I, I think the thing time. I noticed about his pricing was his pricing was really good. He was a lot a lot cheaper than guitar guitar. For like for like stuff. I was looking at the price of his for the guitars? For the bits and bobs. Oh the bits and bobs, right. Aye. Pedals, pickups, really? all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't have yeah, they're all a bit cheaper. Right. He had a set of I'm looking for a set of pickups from an old, old strat. And then a set of three in there that were 20 odd quid cheaper than they were down in Guitar Guitar for the same thing. Well, for like a vintage. I can't even remember what they were called. Seymour Duncan Antiquities. Yeah, we're talking about that Telecaster. No, I like that one. That's really nice. That was a Squire, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, one? yeah. So, I don't know. In fact, it was a Squire next to it as well. I mean, both of them are yeah. Squires. I think I think point in a minute we go around the corner there's a sort of terracotta red one with white stuff on it. Yeah. Don't like it at all. That one or the white one with the black. See, I quite like the terracotta one as well. I yeah. like that. So there's some point, white guitar, black. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not that. No. Not normally that keen on the, the black hardware mm-hmm. and a white guitar, which I've got plenty of. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as a shop, it's a highly recommend if you're in Glasgow or around about Glasgow for the day. The stuff round about it's really good as well. Oh, it's, 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 I'm good when we're walking about. Just yeah. on top, you know, it's like it's a student bill and it's well, all it's, cool folk well, lots everywhere. Of, lots of nice coffee places and places to eat lunch. Yeah. Good for that. So you can uh, literally take your missus out for the day out up here. Yes. And there's a guitar shop right in the middle. And there's other cultural things as well here, Brian. It's quite, yes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> there's a for a ma- fromagerie just down the road across the road that's the f- weirdest smelling place you've ever smelled in your life. <laughs> It's difficult to, it really is. I mean, the stuff that you leave with is delicious, but it's a hard visit. <laughs> Spend most of it with your eyes water. Yeah. <laughs> Look to see if somebody's farted. Yeah. Is that the cheese? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, this is a, yeah. A definitely Nicholas. go and visit this shop and tell them he sent you. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> is that one of the Billy Eyelash things? That is isn't. I, I think it's just, I've one of them. I think there was Beatles ones as well. I like that one in the middle says help. I was wondering why okay it says help on it, but then yeah. on the other sides That wee Billy Eilish last is really good. Have you actually heard her sound? I have not, no. Oh my god. I've seen a picture of her standing with baby metal. I think they did some Did they do something else? I, well, I think they no, they were doing a festival together. No, no, no. I have to say, yeah, what a what a what a singer that wee lassie is. Yeah. Very talented. Her brother makes the music as well, so it's a family thing. Anyway, enough about Billy Eilish. Where were we? Guitars. We're still in here and running the video at 
a quarter speed or whatever it is yeah, is really making it yeah. <laughs> is, it's really padding it out <laughs> yeah what else was there that's all the amps and stuff on it that's See, that's what I quite like. Cause it's, 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 it's one of those things. Stuff on the floor. I mean, you just, you can like plug stuff in it. Yeah, of course. It's just a pain in the ass. We've got COVID. It really is. Otherwise, we'd have been all over these things. Yeah. I'm a bit of a nightmare in guitar shops usually because I will try stuff and I will turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll do that. Yeah. So that's also when you're looking about in a shop, you don't do much walking. No. You should, you should really. I should really. I just do a bit of it just now. Oh, there's that. Horrible bloody fire glow, look at it. <laughs> what is that? It's, it's a, a lefty back as well. It's a lefty, you didn't even notice. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can tell it's awful just by looking at it. Yeah. We're it, probably saying that right now, just having a second look. Thing. Yeah, I'm not talking, I don't worse. think, uh, what about the, your favourite blue one there? Oh, Which, that, that, it's upside down, you're it's right. A gill, no, it looks, it's uh, not even, it's back to front, upside down. It's not, it, you say that earlier, it looks like somebody's found a bit of wood and thought, yeah, that looks like a vaguely bit like a guitar. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it a guitar. Look at that. It's up, up, right there, that's, that's just where I put the, the, the Gretsch, that top red one there. Yeah. That, uh, oh, what was it called? I can't remember. But the amazing. one that you sold. The one that you had. Aye, it was lovely. Nice but guitars. It, I don't like Fifi Fives. So I keep, mm. eventually I'm going to get one that I like, but I haven't. No, apart from that, you, you see my does Yamaha, it, that do, sort of jazz do, box do thing. these guitars like not annoy you just even look at them when you see how much money they are? Like three and a half grand. I mean, where is the three and a half grand in a Rickenbacker? Germany, yeah. American? No, American. Oh, American? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've been made the same way. They don't. They've not really changed. Yeah, I think that was the thing. But I don't think yeah. they ever. They've never had a cheaper range either, have they? Yeah. So the only ones you can get are seventies, or like for yeah. as a, as a, opposed to like a thousands of pounds, or is like a seventies Ibanez copy, yeah. or a, maybe a Harley Benton, which I mean, are kind of sort of. See, they keep referring back to the Beatles with these guitars, and apparently the Rickenbackers just basically gave them the guitars when they landed in America, and they thought, yeah, they look nice and. Yeah. Oh, right, is that that? Uh, uh. I think. One of them bought one in Germany at one point. One of the smaller wrecking back. Oh, died. Uh, John Lennon did. Yes, you're right. Yeah, but I think that was uh, the thing. Uh, George Harrison's. You know, got like the first uh, twelve string one or something. The pure. They, they sent it to him. I've never been able to get it. I mean, because people keep saying, "Yeah, you've got to play one and t to experience it." But yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I've spent quite a bit of time around about wrecking backers, and I've never had a decent experience, a comfortable experience out there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just depends what you're after. I know, that's why when you look at guitarists, like a Tom Petty and whatnot, and that's all he ever played, isn't it? Or part of my playing but I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, yeah. George Harrison didn't really play that often, did he? It was just no. in the early days, and he switched over to Tellies and Strats. And Gretsch. He's always got a Gretsch on the cover of that. Yeah. Album, but that so. was a proper guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> not one of these. I, mean, I thought you said it was the pickups that were bad, though. It is the pickups. <laughs> it's the, 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 the way the guitars are manufactured, I mean, the old Gretsch's, the 50s ones are amazing. Yeah. They're lovely. That's a different thing altogether. It's not these yeah. modern ramshackle things. There's yeah. the guitar. Maybe I, quite, like, maybe I do quite like it, actually. I was sitting there thinking, like, that's the one that I said just a minute ago, that it was really nice and white and black and really poor and... I like I, I do. I do quite like it. It's I got some certain Starsky and Hutchness to it. Yeah, well, it's that kind of terracotta red. It's not the usual red. It's the kind of orangey red. It was quite yeah. nice. But yeah, Again. that's us definitely having thoughts about that looking back at that. Well, we were just saying it. Yeah, you got your, it looks like you've got your hands on your hips. Yeah. Like, that's looking back at Let me tell you. <laughs> Worst necks in the world. Yeah. Did we mention the fact that what they do with the, when they're making the guitars? They finish the neck and then they lacquer the neck on top of the frets. We did. And then they do the fret job and then... It's... Uh, I just found it really strange. Stupid. We were talking about... Actually, that's reminded me of when we were playing with Simon and yeah. the... I snapped up the string on the bass. I actually tried to say it in the video at the time. And I tried to say it again. Yeah. Snapped up and I didn't have any other bass with me. He's like, oh, I've got... Man, it was like an Epiphone, the hollow Beetle bass. And it was, as you say, it was horrible. Toy Town. And then I played Taxman on it. Bum dum, but it, it was like, there's the sound. What, that that <laughs> no, it was like pure right. I totally. So you, you just get, don't, it's it's for that. But anything else, if you ever get one, and then don't try and play anything else on it. Just play Taxman, uh, and don't then try and play in a rock band either. It's no, just, <laughs> it's stressful, anxiety. The, 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 the gig that I played, I was really panicking the whole thing <laughs> because it wouldn't stay in tune. Right. And I discovered that I had to stand perfectly still whilst I was playing it. Yeah, I suppose that wasn't yours though, so you'd, maybe you'd maybe trust it if you'd had a couple of rehearsals with it. Or... 
No. <laughs> Not a beautiful fan. Anyway, I've just noticed that we, uh, we've, this has clearly stopped. So it has. So it's the, end, it's the end of this video. You know, I thought I was just looking thoughtful about something. Then. Is Happy you're really, really staring? Yeah, <laughs> uh, looking at that, looking back and thinking, why? Why? Why, why, why? Why? Not that much. So, cheers, and we'll see you in the next video. I don't know if we'll run it at short. Oh, where is it? I don't even know what it is. Rock on! Aye. Aye, so we're now just waiting. We're just we're watching it now in yeah. uh, fast motion because it was at quarter speed for the first bit. So now I'm going really fast. I look really really anxious when I'm doing yes. stuff in there. You were sitting looking out the window for a good th a good five minutes in the uh, last video when we thought I, we were. I, I was contemplating the, how bad that <laughs> the, how bad. Back you just maybe blanked out with yeah. rage for yeah. for a whole minute like that. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm probably getting ready for the visit to the next shop knowing where we're going oh that's going to be quite a funny video i think that that's going to be a special video yeah. that um we're going to be <laughs> this very video this very video i didn't you you hit it you hit it well i was not aware that those Can were your feelings <laughs> it was like oh. we didn't talk about that midnight midnight black midnight or midnight black, blue, obviously black. Called. yeah we did actually it's, when it's we walked nice. in if you watch the, the original footage we'll be talking about it'll it be on a, i'll chop it up and make something out of it yeah but that was the, the the telecaster that you didn't like at the time, but you do now. But and I thought it was one. really nice. I quite like yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know. If, uh, it's that orange I don't know why I didn't like it. Anyway. It looks really nice there. Mm. Maybe one of these things is getting used to it. He needs to take those Rick and backers down. They just take they take your eye off the whole wall. Maybe he's got, <laughs> maybe we've been, been a the skeptic. Look that at he's got three of them hanging together. And and there was some in the window as well. There he is, and there's his son. Yeah, so it's the father and son. Nice team. BC rich in the wall there. Yeah. Like it's actually it's not it's a daisy rock it's on the well, wall the star right. shaped one. Oh no there's a, a mockingbird oh right sorry i thought i talking about this, the star shaped thing right. these so, are both squires weren't they aren't yes it? that one there's the one with the active pickups i'm yeah. pointing at it saying i've got those active pickups mm -hmm. i was going to put them on that gold thing mm -hmm. but um they didn't fit and it's like they oh, the, the gold thing it's more camera ah it's all right people are being Smoking? Who's smoking? Yeah, don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to. You want to see me in the live stream? Do drinking? I don't drink. I was drinking now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can actually see through. Uh, you see through and see him working hard on that guitar yeah. neck. Seventies guitar. Good idea. Actually, having the glass cabinet. I never even considered that. So you can see what folk are doing on the other side of it. Yeah. Just again being skeptical. What are ukuleles? How are ukuleles actually? Oh, I suppose they must be the the. the the, the, the end thing for the summer though for the kind of festivals and camping and all of that uh, well not this year maybe too yeah it's probably yeah. A, a bought before the unless there's something I mean that, that there's there's a fair bodge there and then there's that whole back room walls well well there, there are different types so it used to sell quite a lot of cheap acoustics as well but it was always around about the same time of year mm. festivals time right i uh, I suppose that maybe there must be an element of and, and picking up mm -hmm. folk in the West End. It's like you're oh, I quite fancy a guitar. Oh, guitars are quite expensive. Well, ukuleles. What do they start? And they do know it's like fifty quid for a Beatles one or you know that that kind of money. He's got a great selection of acoustic guitars. I'm not. Yes. Well, uh, we are not big we're acoustic really, fans. No, no, not really. No. He does. Uh, my pal Ronnie. He's mm -hmm. he does. He buys a lot of uh, old acoustics yeah. like Suzuki's right, and okay. things like that. And um, he gets Jimmy Moon <coughs> to. He's just got one back. He keeps taking them in. He says he. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Moon, I keep saying Jimmy Moon, Jimmy, Jimmy he's Moon. Like, uh, he seems to quite like them because he's doing something a bit different. Yeah. You were sort of saying that before, if you give a, a diff a something different rather than going in with another guitar that's yeah. just a bland one, but here you're... Something a wee bit different. If, if it took in, like, I don't know, a washboard wing or something, it'd be like, oh, what's this? This is exciting. It becomes a bit more, yeah. rather than just the monotonous. You know, just, I suppose he's got to, it must be pretty boring setting up all like getting all the squires in and stuff just like well, at least it was a different one well he's he, i think he keeps his lad busy his son he's ah, well. always constantly setting up guitars on the side setting right, up acoustics yeah. and electrics and yeah. doing stuff i'll not have man standing they not have men standing idle in the shop when they can be setting up guitars yeah, look how tidy the shop is yes it's yes lovely Everything's especially with the amount of stuff in it i mean look yeah. that there that'd be the ukulele wall i mean that's that's a lot of the selection of guitars acoustic guitars i quite like the way they had them set up yeah Especially when they had the same Gretsch as mine, kind of right in this. Yeah, <laughs> like there's, a, there's, a, there's a bit of the video coming up talking about that, yeah. and it's like, um, I don't I can't remember what the sound was like, it can be a bonus feature. Mm -hmm. So even at 200% speed, it's, it's it's actually quite a long time, three minutes. Yeah. We were pretty much finished talking, and it's like, oh no, it's still, yeah. still got an hour to go before we go to your favourite shop for the special video. Oh. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should have. A, I might have a wee magnum with, with it, so I can be violent as well. I don't, <laughs> I don't really hate the guy, to be fair, but I don't know. I don't. Well enough. I don't know. So hate's a strong word. Yes. 
yeah. strong one, but it's just he's yeah. You'll see. Yeah. Well, maybe you won't because he, he did come up in my tent something. No, he was at one he, point. He, he was yeah, yeah relatively nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do feel a bit sorry for him. It's short, been a bit Run smaller down. than it used to be. Not quite. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what's happened to that place. To be honest with you, it used to be. Well, let's this shop's better. Jimmy Egypt's going to visit him first. Aye. But there's the Gretsch acoustic that I've got. The Gretsch Ranch. Yes. It's really nice. Yes. But the only problem again is the tuners, the same as electric guitars. All Gretsch's seem to suffer from the same thing. Tuners way. aren't exactly, it's not, you don't really need a tech to fit them as long as you buy, you just buy ones that you fit. You wonder why though you spend so much money on producing a lovely guitar and then just put a set of rubbish tuners on it. Because I mean, when you're talking about manufacturing, they can't cost that much cheaper, or, can, or maybe just doing the whole range. We've got a yeah. whole container full yeah. of these tuners. So we're just putting them just on everything. Show you. I mean, it's the same problem with a Japanese one as it is with a Korean one. Pretty much use the same parts wherever they're made. Yeah, but it's a great acoustic after <laughs> I like yeah. it because of the triangular. It's just got. It's it's just a, I'm, I'm a different one. It's like mm-hmm. one of the reasons I'm not really that into acoustics is that. You look at them there, and he's, he's, he's not put all the ones that look the same together. Yeah. But you know, you just go into acoustics; they'll look exactly the same. They'll just like look, look, look that bottom left, you know, yeah. or that wall maybe is a bit more. A None of them are particularly super exciting. All those just wood coloured ones. Brown like, boxes. Yeah, there's the spears. Spears. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Some of them are okay. Some of them are. But it's, I think it's a setup issue. Oh, it's very much a setup issue, and things. I think the quality control might rock. I think yeah. that's why that pallet of ones that were in Hellington were. They weren't necessarily damaged. They were just when you when you bought ten of them, yeah. one of them would, would be pure un, unfixable. <laughs> so maybe maybe a couple maybe yeah. would, would come out okay, but it's a wee bit more randomy. But those were not the spears that are no. like these. Those those terrible ones because that uh, one we were talking about the meat guitar earlier on. Oh, that yeah. was a spear. Was Les Paul? It was really yeah. nice. It had it was red and it had a. There's your man, by the way. There's the the, the boy Egypt Junior and Senior. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's always the same when you walk into that shop they're both working away right. oh I see the I see your daisy, daisy rock that's what your, I thought you saw I thought you no I just took um, Mockingbird ST too along to the right and that's yeah. me talking about my straddle blaster because it's booked in there yeah. to have a fret level and crown and dress yes. by Jim Egypt we mentioned him earlier he's the net guy yes we're, we're right now this is like the, the so <laughs> man <laughs> I, I, I figured that we'd be able to zoom in on this and see what the price tickets are. No, no, it's not, not, not happening in this one. No. But look at the size of Fuzz Face. Like that. That's huge. Look. But those wee tiny cute ones are quite good as well, aren't they? I quite like the size of them. Ah, it's quite nice. I, 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 I was using my Delamo fez, uh, pedal and mm. thingy. It doesn't take a battery. It's not that annoying, isn't it? Uh, when you look at it, if you look at it compared to the one next to the ones that do take a battery, it's just a bit of battery bigger. This is going to the next place. This is going to the next place, so I'll stop this one here. Okay. Rock on, I don't know where I'm stitching on, how many parts I'm going to put this in or anything like that, but yeah. it's fun anyway. Get yeah, you later. Go visit, go visit this place. Uh, go visit Jimmy Egypt's. <laughs> I said Egypt, not Moon. Yes! yes. He's not there anymore.